Hello students. In this video, we learn about combination of small drops as well as motion of a charged particle in electric field in terms of potential. Okay. So let us begin. See, here the case is there are n identical small drops. N identical small drops are the now combined maadi, we are combining those n identical small drops to form a big drop. One the big drop that now the combined maadi. Correct. So yes, the number of small drops are the combined maadi. Now big drops other big drop now convert maadi. So what happens to the charge radius, capacity, surface charge density, potential, and potential energy when those small drops are combined to form a big drop? That we are going to see. Let me say the charge of the small drop is Q, charge or radius of the small drop is small r, capacity is C, amale surface charge density namag sigma adh, uh, potential namag V adh, potential energy namag U adh, adh, namag adh, namag adh, right? So is the namag yen adh, small drop adh. each small drop is having charge Q, radius r, capacity C, surface charge density sigma, potential V and potential energy U adh, namag adh, Right? Even uh, quantity is related to the small, each small drop. Prati small drop is related quantity. This is n drops. That is why we have combined the big drop form. What will be the charge of that big drop? See, charge of the big drop will be equal to Q. Equal to. This is capital Q. Under big drop of the charge. Right? This will be equal to n types, n times of the charge on each drop. So, yes, the drops are the number of drops. In, Charge of each drop you multiply it, you will get the charge on the big drop. What about radius? See, radius of the big drop, radius of the big drop will be equal to n raised to 1 by 3 times of radius of small drop. Or you can simply write it as cube root of n of radius of the small drop. Cube root of n of uh, radius of small drop. What about capacity? Capacity of the big drop will be equal to n raised to 1 by 3 times of capacity of small drop. C and the capacity of small drop. Or simply you can write it as cube root of n into C. Capacity of small drop. Next, capacity I3. Next, we will go for surface charge density. Notary, surface charge density of the big drop will be equal to n raised to 1 by 3 times of surface charge density of small drop. Or you can simply write it as cube root of n sigma. Okay. Next, Potential. See, potential of each small drop is taken as V. Then the potential of the big drop is given as VB is equal to n raised to 2 by 3 times of V. n raised to 2 by 3 times of V. That is all about the potential of big drop. Next notary. Potential energy. Potential energy of each small drop is U. Then the potential energy of the big drop will be equal to n raised to 5 by 3 times of U. Okay, 5 by 3 times of u. This is how we write the charge, radius, surface charge density, capacity, potential and potential energy after combining the n drops which are similar. Right? Okay. Next notary. We will go for the objectives on this. First question notary another 8 drops. KCT 2021 previous year question another 8 drops. Under number n is equal to yes to bantile. n is 8 of mercury of equal radii combined to form a big drop, the capacitance of a bigger drop as compared to each small drop. Capacitance of bigger drop. So the question is on capacitance. So we know very well capacitance of a big drop is equal to cube root of n times of capacitance of small drop. So we know n value will yesterday. n value is 8. So 8 is the cube and the 2. So it will be 2 times of capacitance of small drop. Ya option correct. Two types of capacitance of small drop. Option number one will be correct. We'll go to the next question then. See what is next question? Next question that we have here. 27 drops. 27 drops. Andre Yan and Namag yesterday. 27. Drops of same size are charged at a 220 volt. Voltage number put there. They combine to form a bigger drop. Calculate the potential of bigger drop. Okay, small drop of the potential number put there, bigger drop of the potential of fine market. Okay, n is equal to it is 27, bigger drop, potential of bigger drop is equal to n raised to 2 by 3 times of potential of small drop. Clearly got to right? So this one I can write it like this. Uh, n raised to 1 by 3 
स्क्वायर टाइम्स ऑफ v अंदर n रेस्ट तू वन बाय थ्री अंदर क्यूब रूट ऑफ n रे क्यूब रूट ऑफ n n रेस्ट ट्वेंटी सेवन ट्वेंटी सेवन इन द क्यूब n आई थ्री ट्वेंटी सेवन इन द क्यूब नमक थ्री आई थ्री सो थ्री स्क्वायर इनटू v व्हाट इज थ्री स्क्वायर नाइन इनटू व्हाट इज v v नमक ऐसा दे v इज टू ट्वेंटी v इज टू ट्वेंटी देन व्हाट आई विल गेट सो इधर नाउ मल्टीप्लाई मार्क कूट रहे नाइन इनटू जीरो विल बी जीरो नाइन टू जाइट विल बी एटीन एंड नाइन टू जाइट विल बी एटीन प्लस वन अदर नाइनटीन नाइनटीन एटी सो द पोटेंशियल ऑफ द बिग ड्रॉप विल बी नाइनटीन एटी वोल्ट्स देन विच ऑप्शन विल बी करेक्ट द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज नाइनटीन एटी वोल्ट्स मींस फोर्थ ऑप्शन इज करेक्ट नोट रे केसीटी टू थाउजेंड � We'll go to the next question. The next question then. See, the next question is from J. Mains 2022. 64 drops. 64 drops. Uh, conducting drops each of radius 0 0.02 meter and each carrying a charge 5 microcoulomb are combined to form a bigger drop. The ratio of surface charge density of bigger drop to the surface charge density of smaller drop is, will be, either the ratio of the ratio. नोटरी यन वैल्यू ऑलरेडी कोटे दरे यन वैल्यू कोटे दरे नमक रेशो ऑफ सरफेस चार्ज डेंसिटी से को दें दौड़ दमा तल रही है कंधर नमक नोटरी सरफेस चार्ज डेंसिटी ऑफ बिगर ड्रॉप इसे कोल्ड टू यन रेश टू वन बाय थ्री टाइम्स ऑफ सरफेस चार्ज डेंसिटी ऑफ स्मॉल ड्रॉप अंतर नमक ऑलरेडी कोटे दरे सो द Notary, surface charge density of bigger drop divided by surface charge density of small drop. This small drop is surface. So, cube root of n, 64 is the number. So, cube root of 64. What is cube root of 64? Cube root of 64 is 4. So, ratio number 4 is to 1. Correct? Then, which option is correct? 4 is to 1. Another option correct. Option B is right. Correct? Okay. We'll move to the next concept now. Okay. Next concept is notary. Motion of charged particle in electric field. We have already learnt about motion of charged particle in electric field, in electric charges and fields. But here we'll be learning some terms related to that motion of charged particle in electric field in terms of potential. In terms of potential, now not covered. Here, we have the uniform electric field. This uniform electric field, we have now we have two points. A and B, correct? And now. A charged particle called as Q is moving from A to B. It is moving from A to B. So what will be the velocity of that charged particle? A charged particle, the velocity is equal to that. See, velocity of that charged particle will be equal to root 2 Q V. V and thunder, it is potential difference. Potential difference between the two points in between which it is moving. So potential difference between A B and thunder barkotini divided by mass of that charged particle which is moving, right? V A B is the potential difference between the points A B, V is the velocity. Yam mandra mass of that charged particle, Q is charge of that charged particle. This is the velocity. Next, momentum. See, momentum of that charged particle is given by P is equal to root 2 Q M potential difference between A and B. Okay, potential difference between A and B, right? So this is the momentum. Third point is kinetic energy of that particle. Kinetic energy of that particle will be charge into the potential difference between which it is moving. Okay, potential difference between the two points in between which it is moving. So charge into potential difference that will give you kinetic energy. Okay, so these are the formulas in terms of potential related to the motion of charged particle in a uniform electric field. Clear other? Okay, we'll see some objectives on this question, on this concept. Okay, notary, the end question of the question is a bullet of mass 2 grams, mass number quote there, having a charge of 2 micro coulomb, charge number quote there, through what potential difference, we have to calculate potential difference here, must it be accelerated starting from rest to acquire a speed of 10 meter per second, to acquire a speed of 10 meter per second, and the really speed number quote there, notary, again now formulas not going to be, all those formulas are related to the motion of charged particle in electric field, which is starting from rest only. Rest is in the start actor on the charged particle and the formulas are available. Okay, now we have mass, charge, potential difference. Okay, we have velocity, speed. So, speed of the formula now is V is equal to root 2, uh, sorry, root 2 Q potential difference divided by mass. So this I will write it as V square is equal to root 2 Q potential difference divided by mass M. We have to find out the potential difference. 
सो वि स्क्वे वि स्क्वे नमु हंड्रेड आयत रही स्पीड नम्बर टेन को हंड्रेड आयु टू इंटू चार्ज चार्ज नमे रही टू मैक्रो अद रही टू इंटू टेन रेस टू मैन सिक्स रही ओके दिस पोटेंशियल डिफरेन्स डिवेड बै मास मास नम टू ग्राम ग्राम के जी ना तक मैन थ्री आयते रईट सो टू एंड टू विल गेट कैनसल इतना मैन थ्री मैन थ्री नम्बर होते रही रईट ओके नेक्स्ट नोट्री टू वन टू फिफ्टी रईट सो दिस विल बी फिफ्टी टेन रेस टू मैन थ्री उतना तक टेन रेस टू प्लस थ्री अंत सो द पोटेंशियल डिफरें फिफ्टी इंटू टेन रेस टू थ्री दट कैन बी रिटर्न आज फिफ्टी टेन रेस टू थ्री अंतर अद दट इस किलो सो फिफ्टी किलो ओल विल द पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस देन विच आपशन इज करेक्ट सी फिफ्टी किलो ओल अंतर्रे इट इस आपशन नंबर वन दिस विल द रईट आपशन ओके विल मूव टू द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन देन सो द नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज सी एंड एलेक्ट्रॉन ऑफ मास यम चार्ज इ Electron of mass m charge E is accelerated from rest through a potential difference v. The final speed of the electron will be okay. Direct conceptual question is there. Now, the speed of that charged particle now already been given. It will be root two q potential difference divided by mass. And that. Here difference is there. Mass as it is m and the quantity charge in q, but then now E and the quantity. So, this now we have got two E. पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस नमक v ಅಂತ ಕೊಟ್ಟಿದ್ದಾರೆ ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ m this much has to be the speed okay direct ನಮ್ಮ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ ಏನು ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ದ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡರ್ಡ್ ಫಾರ್ಮುಲಾ ಮ್ಯಾಗನ ಕ್ವೆಶ್ಚನ್ ಅದರಿ ಸೋ √2ev ಡಿವೈಡೆಡ್ ಬೈ m ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ c will be the correct option okay we'll move to the next question then see what is the next question a mass of 1 kg carrying a charge of 2 coulomb is accelerated through a potential of 1 volt the velocity acquired by it ओके वेलोसिटी नमक क्या आते हैं अंदर मतलब सेम फॉर्मूला में एक नमक क्वेश्चन आता है बी इज़ इक्वल टू रूट टू क्यू पोटेंशियल डिफरेंस डिवाइडेड बाय मास रूट टू निम्बू फॉर्मूला तली वाले नए पे तो अंदर डायरेक्टली फॉर्म वैल्यू सब्सटिट्यूशन को होगी फॉर्मूला बरकों तो कोड बाढ़ Mass is two one kg. Okay, so this will be root to four. Root to four under our guest mantri. Two meter per second. Our velocity bar bete. So root two meter per second velocity under our guest mantri. Option two is correct. Right? Okay. We'll move to the next question then. So the next question is a particle of mass one gram, one gram, and a charge of one micro coulomb. Okay, is held at rest on a frictionless horizontal surface at a distance one meter. From a fixed charge to milli coulomb, if the charge if the particle is released, it will be repelled. The speed of the particle when it is at a distance of 10 meter from the fixed charges. Okay, this is the direct formula based question. All now we only think in questions in solve. Madhya, all the problems now directly formula will substitution. Madhya, the answer will be done. This will solve now concept apply. Madhya, because I'm sure now which are Madhya solve Madhya on the question. Madhya, thinkable question. Madhya. ओके सो व्हाट दे हैव गिवन व्हाट दे हैव टोल्ड इले नोट री वन दे फिक्स्ड चार्ज अदरी देर इज अ फिक्स्ड चार्ज ओके इले नम गोन फिक्स्ड चार्ज अदरी राइट फिक्स्ड चार्ज आउट री टू मिली कुलम सो टू मिली कुलम इज द फिक्स्ड चार्ज अमेले फर्स्ट है ये द वन माइक्रो कुलम बत चार्ज है ना दला अदन वन मीटर वाले गिट ये नम्बर की गेस्ट डिस्टेंस वाला का तो पांच तरह फिक्सर चार्ज दें दे इट इस एट अ डिस्टेंस ऑफ वन मिली वन मीटर राइट वन मीटर फ्रॉम टू मिली कुलम इस टे डिस्टेंस वाला का तो रे सो येरे डे चार्जेस है ना वन मीटर डिस्टेंस वाला हिरकोंडे दिवे येरे डू चार्जेस नम्बर लाइक चार्जेस है so the yes to door who get the 10 meters door who get the so let me say it has come over here illig bandha dhanthe now on kolono okay so one micro coulomb charge illig bandha and there two milli coulomb charge in the other thing yes to door bandha the pan thandre 10 meters door bandha the so e point ek bandha ga after the velocity yes to the calculate madri yanthe kya adha what is the velocity at this point 10 meter distance wala kodha ga after the velocity yes to ig one thil kori when both the charges are held here only at a distance of one meter at that time, this charge one micro coulomb will be having a potential energy. Only potential energy it will be having. Yeah, because that now we give no hurt point to the way. That is no more like that. Rest will be there. So, if one meter distance will be there, this charge is having potential energy. Correct. When you release it, 
ಅದು ನೀವು ಯಾವಾಗ ರಿಲೀಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀರಿ ಅವಾಗ ರಿಪಲ್ಸಿವ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಇಂದ ಅದು ಮೂವ್ ಆಗ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಶುರು ಆಗ್ತದೆ ರೀ ಇಟ್ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಮೂವಿಂಗ್ ಡ್ಯೂ ಟು ದ ರಿಪಲ್ಸಿವ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಸೊ ಅವಾಗ ಏನಾಗ್ತದ್ರಿ ಅದು ಮೂಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಗ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಶುರು ಆಯ್ತಪ್ಪ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ನಮ್ಗೆ ಏನ್ ಬರ್ಬೇಕು ಕೈನೆಟಿಕ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಬರ್ಬೇಕ್ರಿ ಈ ಕೈನೆಟಿಕ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಎಲ್ಲಿಂದ ಬಂತು ಈ ಪೊಟೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿನ ನಮಗೆ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಕೈನೆಟಿಕ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿಯ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿರ್ತದ್ ರೀ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಕೈನೆಟಿಕ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿಯ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿರ್ತದೆ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ಸೊ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಕನ್ಸರ್ವ್ಡ್ ಇರ್ತದ್ರಿ ಯಾವಾಗ ನಮಗೆ ಹೊಸ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟ್ ಮಾಡ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಬರುದಿಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಇದ್ದಂತ ಎನರ್ಜಿನ ನಮಗೆ ಬೇರೆ ಫಾರ್ಮ್ ಕ್ಕೆ ನಾವು ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡತೀವಿ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ಬಟ್ ಈಗ ನೋಡ್ರಿ ಏನಾಗಿರ್ತದಪ್ಪ ಅಂತಂದ್ರೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಇದ್ದಂತ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ ಪೊಟೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಟೆನ್ ಮೀಟರ್ಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಬಂದಾಗ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಟ್ಲಿ ಹಂಡ್ರೆಡ್ ಪರ್ಸೆಂಟ್ ಕೈನೆಟಿಕ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿರಂಗಿಲ್ಲ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಲಿ ಕನ್ವರ್ಟ್ ಆಗಿರ್ತದೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಈಗ ನಾವು ಹಿಂಗ್ ತಿಳ್ಕೊಳ್ಳೋಣ ಲೆಟ್ ಎಸ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಪೊಟೆನ್ಷಿಯಲ್ ಎನ